today we're going to be making carrot and rice pudding it's very simple and we're going to be making an instant pot main ingredient is four cups of whole milk two cups of shredded carrots one 14 ounce of condensed milk i took two ounces out so this is about 12 ounces one third cup of rice half a teaspoon of cardamom you can also use cardamom pods if you have them on hand either way this is what i had in hand so i'm using this today let's get started to begin with we have to put our insta pot on saute mode i have the milk in the insta pot i am waiting for it to come to a boil reason being is if i dump everything in and turn on the insta pot to porridge mode there's a possibility that everything's gonna go sit at the bottom and then end up burning. So that's why I'm going to wait for the milk to come to boil and then add all the other ingredients. While I'm waiting for that, I'm going to take the rice and put them in a spice grinder or food processor, whatever you have, and coarsely grind them. Make sure don't make powder out of it. Like You should be able to see the grain of rice. Okay, I did this, so I don't know if you can see it but this is not powder. You can still see some grains of rice. This rice was washed and dried. So if you're planning on to make the rice pudding, I'll suggest washing it maybe like once rinse it or max it twice. Uh, one is good enough because you want to keep the starch to make the pudding thick. Air dry it and then um, you can grind it easily. If it's soaked and it's wet, it's gonna be not really easy to work with. I have to keep stirring it occasionally to make sure the milk does not burn from the bottom because if it's not stirred, it's gonna end up sticking at the bottom. Looks like it's about to come to a boil. At this point, I'm going to add the rice that I grinded along the cardamom powder. Give it a mix. Press the cancel mode and lid on. Make sure it's on seal. I'm going to press the porridge mode which if you don't have in your instant pot you can always do it manually by pressing pressure cook for 25 minutes on high it has been almost 20 minutes since instant pot timer went off so the pressure has completely came down naturally i'm going to open the lid i'm going to press the saute mode condensed milk you can adjust the sugar you can taste at this point and see if you would like any more I did add two tablespoons of sugar because I didn't have the whole full can of condensed milk to begin with this dessert doesn't require to be really sweet so again according to your liking now I'm going to add the carrots in here these are two cups of shredded carrots. Since we've added the sugar and condensed milk, it did release some water in the milk. And I'm gonna let it evaporate and keep stirring it. And I will cancel the saute mode once I see the consistency that it has reached that I'm looking for. It has been about 10 minutes since the saute mode was on. This is the consistency I'm looking for because it will thicken up once it goes in the fridge. Now this can be eaten warm, it tastes really good, but I prefer eating it chilled in the fridge. That's it, our carrot and rice pudding is all ready. I just garnished some sliced pistachios and some sliced almonds. Now this is totally optional, it tastes really good as it is. You can eat this at room temperature, warm, or you can eat this chilled in a refrigerator for two hours. It tastes delicious. I hope you give this recipe a try and do let me know what you think in the comments below. Please consider subscribing if you have not and I'll see you in the next video.